In many Thai villages, buffaloes are disappearing. But in this part of the northeastern province of Nakhon Ratchasima, they're bouncing back. They're a part of everyday life, living in the backyards of houses side by side with people. They even have their own school. While thousands of buffaloes around Thailand have been sold to Laos and Vietnam, this group of farmers has formed a cooperative to try to preserve the animals and promote their benefits. There is little use of buffaloes these days. Farmers tend to feel they are a burden, so we need to teach the animals how to plough so they can be useful again. Day one at this school is a little tougher than most on new pupils. The first lesson involves a piercing initiation. A rope is an essential accessory for a career in the fields. Then it's pulling practice. Rote learning takes time, time the modern farmer doesn't have. The trainers admit the hardest part is not actually breaking these animals in, it's convincing more farmers to use them, farmers who have become used to modern technology. The benefits, they say, are many. They'll save the farmer money on fuel and they're good for the environment. While they produce their own greenhouse gases, their output can be used as organic fertilizer. And this is a fully graduated buffalo at work. As a storm approaches, it quietly prepares a field for sowing watermelon seeds. Using buffaloes does save us money. It's also more convenient when I need to plough small fields. If I use tractor to plough a small area, it will crush the crop. Even these farmers admit they're not complete converts and tractors are here to stay. But thanks to good old-fashioned schoolwork, educated buffaloes will be seen in the fields here for years to come. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Nakhon Ratchasima, Thailand.